Hi, my name's Josh Mullen and welcome to my YouTube channel surrounding the topic Talent Pathways. This is the first episode of a number of episodes around the topic Talent Pathways. I hope you enjoy it. So firstly, what is talent? How would you yourself define talent? Just have a think about that. And then talent, this is a quote by Tucker 2014, talent is evaluated today with a view tomorrow, but is based on things that happened yesterday. In contrast, Cushion and Tranquil 2006, their definitions say that talent is a rare and valuable resource for society and a great deal of potential, potential valuable human talent is wasted in every generation. So my definition of talent is, is talent is something an individual may be born with but must work really hard to achieve success so it doesn't come naturally without hard work. Would you say yourself that you agree with that? And would you say you were born with talent or would you say that you developed talent and just have a think about that? So then I went on to listening to a podcast by Margaret Heffernan on BBC Radio 4 relating about the subject, is talent a thing? Firstly, the podcast focuses on intelligence relating back to the education system at school. She explains how important a person's contacts can help them develop in it young age, e.g. teachers believing in them and parent support. She also then goes on to say about the Flynn effect. The Flynn effect suggests that intelligence isn't static or fixed and that the average levels of intelligence rose over the course of the 20th century thanks to improving in the schooling system. They went on to the topic of growth and fixed mindset. Fixed mindset is when you're afraid of challenges and not and you're afraid of trying new things. However, growth mindset is the complete opposite of that. That's when you're open to trying new things, maybe in talent and in sport, you might go up a level, age level when you're young, so that's an example of growth mindset. You're, op you're open to new and adventurous things. So relating this back to an image, which is Lionel Messi, uh, I believe that Messi would have had to have a good growth mindset to allow him to progress to being the best player in the world. Do you agree with this? And do you feel this is true? So similar to growth mindset, there's a thing called grit. Professor Angela Duckworth says grit is more important for success than IQ. Grit is a positive non-cognitive trait based on an individual's passion for a particular long-term goal or end state, coupled with a powerful motivation to achieve their respective objective. This Perseverance of effort promotes the, the overcoming of obstacles or challenges that lie within a gritty individual's path to accomplish and offers the opportunity to make an individual's goal realistic. So when relating this to an image of Lionel Messi, Messi wasn't always the best footballer in the world. He would have had to have grit and a growth mindset to allow him to progress further. When Messi was 10, he was diagnosed with an illness which he had to over, overcome and fight which allowed him to come into the Bar Barcelona ranks and then allowed him to progress to win a number of trophies. But how do you identify talent? You could argue that every sport has a system in place to help uh, identify the next big start, but what are the areas that you need to focus on to see if an individual is talented? So after reading a study by Christensen 2009, which focused on exploring top level soccer coaches, identifying talent, I had the chance to see what they focus on. So firstly, the findings suggest that they focus on the practical sense, which is visual experience and the experience-based ability they have acquired through sustained scouting work. Secondly, the results suggest that the coaches focus on players who are assumed to be willing to learn and are perceived to be hard-working and dedicated. And thirdly, the study shows that the that talent of which the coaches are acting to taste is socially configured in top level soccer. But do you agree with this? What do you reckon scouts should focus on when they're scouting whatever sport? So what have we covered during this podcast? So overall during this episode we're focused on the subject talent and if talent even is a thing relating back to the podcast from BBC Radio 4. Um, we've also discussed how you identify talent and um, just a number of questions you can ask yourself after watching this podcast is 
what's your personal definition of talent and are you born with talent or is talent developed so or is it a bit of both So next episode, as well as defining and identifying ta talent, there are several factors surrounding developing talent. Before the next episode, it will be beneficial if you can make yourself aware of the biocycle social model, which can be found online. This will help you listening to the next few podcasts. So there's an image of the biocycle social. And there's some references. And then thank you for listening. If there's any questions, please feel free to comment below.